All right, so my name is Amanda and I am a library assistant at Middleton Public Library. And tonight we are doing a class called Reading Newspapers Online. So we're just gonna go over the different databases that we do have um, at the library with your library card that you can access from home. Um, so you don't need to be in the library or use our internet access to be able to get these. And so you can have it on your desktop computer. Um, if you open it up in browser, you can have it on your devices as well. And the ones that we're going to look at tonight and that are available with your card is the Middleton Times Tribune Index, News Bank, Newspaper Source Plus, Newspapers.com, US News Stream, and the Wisconsin Newspaper Digital Research Site. It's important to note too that to gain access, like I said, uh, you are going to be using your library card. So you do start at our website, which is midlibrary.org. From there, you would select the resources tab up at the top. And then uh, the first one that you would select is online databases. And I do see a question about the Wisconsin State Journal. Yes, it is accessible and actually multiple of our databases. So I'll be showing you that here tonight too. Trying to make sure to look for that one here tonight. I'm just going to make sure we don't have anybody in our waiting room. Okay. And move on. So the first one is the Middleton Times Tribune Index. Uh, so this is essentially just something for you to be able to find which issue um, the article it is you're looking for is in. So you don't get to see any images when you search the index here. So this is just to find exactly which issue you need, and then you can contact us. So if you notice, there is um, two different search bars there. There's if you have an exact subject heading. Um, so they have an example here, Middleton Police Department. If you put that in and you want anything that has to do with Middleton Police Department. So something really specific, you can put that in there. Uh, there's also a keyword search. So it's gonna search anything that has the word that you put in. So if you say library, it's gonna, anything that has to do with the library. Um, when you're searching for obituaries, sometimes I would maybe use keyword just because you don't know what name was put in. Um, if the name you know the person by was actually a nickname and not their first name, the nickname might be included in the obituary somewhere instead of the title for the name of the obituary. So the keyword search would help sometimes. And if you do notice um, at the bottom of the screenshot there, it does tell you what kinds of information is indexed. So things that you can find are anything from the city council, road planning and construction, uh, school district uh, articles, special events and awards, city committee meeting stuff, uh, development issues, town of Middleton and Springfield uh, development activities. Like I said, obituaries, uh, but birth announcements are not in this index. So if the, you wanted something like that, uh, we would just go directly into searching our microfilm um, instead of trying this first. Uh, city department activities, environmental issues, people, local business, uh, biographies and special announcements, and then crimes and accidents. So those are just kind of the main events that are, are put in here. And like I said, once you do find the issue, then you can email us or call us um, at info at midlibrary.org or just the main library number and uh, request that you need an issue, you know, you need issue 57 of October 2009, and then um, what date it was of the month. 
Uh, so it's anything that's um, before 1977 is not in this index. So you would need to just directly ask us to search the microfilm if it's something before then. Um, but from 1977 to Thursday, September 17th, 2020 is the furthest we have in here right now. Um, so you can search that way and then we can get a scan for you and we can mail it uh, or email it back to you. The second one is Newsbank. And Newsbank can give you the day's top stories or many articles on a popular topic. And then you can also search for electronic editions of the Wisconsin State Journal, the Capital Times, and Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Uh, one thing to note about Newsbank is that you can, can use it with your library card um, and not be signed into any special account and be able to read whatever you click on. Uh, but there is another option where you can make a personal account. Uh, so it is when you get to the home page, it's up here on the right corner where you can either log in or register. Uh, when you register, they're just asking you to make a simple account that's within Newsbank. So you're already getting the, um, the paid stuff through your subscription through the library, but uh, this part is, is just free. It's not anything additional and it's saving your articles. So you can save searches and you can save articles for later. So that is a kind of nice thing. Um, here's an example of what today's stuff was that I threw in here. So this was the top headlines for the day on the left side. Uh, so a lot of it had to do with looks like murder hornets um, over on the West Coast. And then um, things about the COVID vaccines. Uh, so um, you can scroll through there. And a really great thing that I like about Newsbank too is if you are in um, a, a field where you might teach somebody something, they do also include lesson plans for each news story um, on how to teach that story. I think that's a really interesting feature that no one else has. So every day they kind of update that. I see a question about, does Newsbank allow you to read the entire daily Wisconsin State Journal or only specific articles? You know, I'm not sure. We'll have to get into it um, once we switch over and show it to you live. Um, I do think that you can get full article um, for it. And it should be anyone, but we'll, we can double check for that. So I also talked about how, so you can get the top news for the day, and then you can also kind of dive deep on a certain topic. So one of the first topics, I'll go back. So if you look here on the, the left side, there are a bunch of different topics listed. So if you click on one of them, um, you will get a specific list like right here on the right side. Uh, so I clicked women's history since uh, March is Women's History Month. And it culminates a lot of news articles for you and both today's news and then it goes in different topics. So just women's history, uh, women's history and government and politics, women's history in social justice and legal issues. So you can kind of dive deeper and get more specific. So I really like that aspect as well. I think that's a really good way to get news because these articles are coming from all over the place. You're not putting yourself in one bubble where you're going to uh, you know, just be surrounded by all of your, your confirmation bias. Um, and it's, it's a way to, I feel like, get um, the other perspective that you may not always put yourself into 
and that's really what what we want uh, in today's world of news and media. I feel like so it's I think it's a really great resource. Like I said, we'll take a look at that live. We're just going to briefly go over what each of these are. Newspaper Source Plus. So here, um, this is a little bit more researchy. It's where you can search full text newspapers and articles, plus television, uh, radio, news, transcripts, videos, and podcasts. <clears throat> and it, when you open it up, it's just a big search bar and you would start searching uh, for your term, whether it's you know, a um, author of an article or a name of a book or journal. And you can also go to the advanced search and there you can get a little bit more specific. Is it a newspaper? Is it a magazine? Is it a government document? Um, and we'll take a look at that as well. Newspapers.com. This is our historical newspaper uh, database that we use, and it is archives from the 1700s to the 2000s. It does not have everything for every newspaper, so keep that in mind. Each newspaper gets to decide what they're going to allow to be put on here, uh, so sometimes you have years missing. But it does contain thousands of well-known regional, state, and small local newspapers in the United States, and some from other countries. This is one that um, I've used a lot in doing genealogy research when you're trying to find um, obituaries. Sometimes you can find them here. Uh, other times you do have to contact local uh, libraries to get scans of microfilm for things like that too. Uh, but this is one of my first places that I'll go other than Ancestry. Uh, so that's something there to note and you can if you notice so you can search by keyword and you can also up at the top there are um, some tabs and there's one for newspapers so just all of the newspapers you can search by the name of the newspaper or you can click on the map that's on here on the right and you can decide which state you want to see what newspapers are in newspapers.com. The next one is US News Stream. So this one is from current times to 1980s. Uh, so it's both a mix of current and somewhat archival historical, uh, but not not too far into the, the recent past here. Uh, and it is key national and regional sources. So here you can find full articles for New York Times, uh, the Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, Los Angeles Times, Boston Globe, Newsday, and Chicago Tribune, and a lot more. Uh, so this is one where you search by uh, keyword or article title. Um, sometimes you may not always get full text. It, kind of depends on the newspaper and what they allow. Uh, so if you do want full text, there is a little check box to check to make sure that you are getting the full text of the entire article. And we'll take a look at that as well. And the last one is the Wisconsin Newspapers Digital Research Site. So this one is so specific to Wisconsin only and there is daily and weekly newspapers in this one. So I know for sure that you can get um, the Wisconsin State Journal in this one, even the dailies. And um, like I said, we'll, we'll double check the other one too, because I'm not sure about that one. And this is from 2005 to the present day, uh, but they do have an embargo delay of 60 days. Uh, so you wouldn't be able to get today's paper on here. You'd have to wait a little bit. Uh, but if you like getting copies of things, this is a really great resource. And if you look too, there is a little spot here um, with a slider. It's an alphabetical order of all the papers that are in here. So if you want one of the tiny, tiny newspapers, you should be able to find some there. 
All right, so let's go to our live portion. To do that, we're gonna unshare right now and reshare, just to make sure we got our ducks in a row. Okay, so what I said before is that we need to start at our library's website. So here's our homepage. Like I said it's midlibrary.org. And you want to select at the top, we have some tabs. There's resources, it turns orange when you touch on it. And then online databases. And all of our newspaper ones, just because of how everything is put in alphabetical order in these columns here, everything for newspapers is actually in the right column. Just happens to be that way. So the first one is the Middleton Times Tribune Index. And I think you should be still see this. Sometimes Zoom likes to stop sharing when you go to certain websites. So I think you can still see this. Make Please make sure to let me know in the chat if I go to one of the databases and it doesn't transfer over because I might have to reshare. I think this one is, says I am sharing. Uh, so you can look for subject heading or keyword. Like I said, do keyword. I'm just going to put Archer in here. If you don't know, our meeting room is called the Archer Room, or one half of it is the Archer Room, they call it. So it's it's um, named after Leonard and Marion Archer. So we have the Leonard Room and the Marion Room. So I was able to find something that was about the subject that was in 1985, it tells me. So this is the date it was in, section, page, column. So if you were looking for an article about Leonard and Marion Archer, uh, this was probably something about the dedication of that room. Um, it's a few years before that our current building opened, but that building I know was in the works for a while, so they might have had um, a lot of their funding beforehand, so that might have something to do with that. Oh, there's also here subject in the summary is library to celebrate first open Sunday. Yeah, so if you're looking for any of these articles, you would tell us the date of the newspaper and then the section, page, and column, just because it's going to be easier to get to it if we know all of that information. Uh, and then, like I said, you could call or email and then we can get the scan for you and send it in the mail or email it to you as well. So that's the index. I know it's not very fancy, doesn't have any pictures or anything, but it really is helpful in trying to help us do the best job for you uh, so we, it goes quick. I do have a question here. Is there a cost for you to send an article? There is not. Um, so um, everything that we send out, um, we actually send over to City Hall and they do all the postage for that. So it's not any charge to you uh, that, you know, printouts and things like that is included in having um, being a library member and or not, even if you're not, we'll still um, send you things. It's just a part of, of us getting information for you. And obviously within reason, <laughs> as, as with anything, um, but no cost. So there are, the next one is Newsbank. So here, and the index doesn't need a, your card number, but all of the other ones do. So before we get to the home page of each database, you would have to put in your card number and log in.
And here is the home page for NewsBank. So like I said, there are, um, it says here some search shortcuts made. So there is Wisconsin State Journal. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this so we can see. Okay, it wants my news bank stuff. So I haven't made that yet. We're gonna go and make that right now. You can see. Just gonna make up some stuff here. Sure, remember me. Okay, so now I'm logged in. I didn't think it was gonna ask me that. So maybe, let's see what it gives me. Oh, I gotta log in again. Well, that's silly. Taking that. All right, well, I'm unsure about why that's not working right now. Because I know the other part of this AA Brez. Well, let's continue. We can try that again. So, over on the left side is the hot topics or special reports, daily headlines, and activities. You know, I wonder if it doesn't like it because of Zoom. This is very odd. It says I'm locked in. I'm sorry that this is not working. It was working earlier today. Guess it's not happy with me. I don't think any of this is how oh, that works. So here's what it looks like when you go into the special report section. So this was the women's history one. So here are some top news of today and other news headlines and other categories for women's history. Okay, well, it's giving me this one. So it looks like this one is from a French news resource. about this woman in Tokyo. So that's interesting. That's also then been translated from French. We do, let's see here. Let's do one of the women's history ones. Yeah, so they're from all over. Um, you can get a printer friendly view if you want to print this out for every article that you read there's always going to be a print friendly view so it's going to maximize your your page and take out any stuff on the top and the bottom and then it also has all of the uh, original stuff cited down at the bottom so you can open that up and 
and see that as well. And that's always really nice. So that works. So what's new? Okay. So the what's new works. So anytime they they add something new to their database, it's going to be in the what's new for the month. Or if they're featuring something special for the month, it's also going to be there. I'm going to try this one more time. Okay. Goodness. Okay, well, I am sorry that that does not work. That's very weird. Um, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. It should work for you. Um, I know it worked when I was at the library. So I will get back to you on that. Um, I think I have all of your email addresses. So if there's something um, else that I'm missing on here, I'll try and figure out why it's not working and let you guys know. But let's go to the next one. Oh, that's so unfortunate. I really love Newsbank just because you can, like I said, you can save your searches. Okay. Newspaper Source Plus. Wow. My goodness. Maybe that's why my news bank isn't working. Oh, this is a fantastic time for it to, oh, there we go. Let's see here. Again for immediate access, step one. Sometimes this happens where the access gets a little um, disconnected. So you just say, I want to directly log in and then you would choose Middleton Library. There you go, Middleton Public Library. And then put in your library card number. Okay, yay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Apparently the internet doesn't like me tonight. So like I said, you can just type in something and find it that way or you can go to the advanced search. I always recommend going to the advanced search because you have a lot of different options. Um, your top bar here can be um, select a field is basically, it's like on keyword search. Um, if you're looking for title specifically, you could do title. Um, don't forget that you can do Boolean searching with um, quotations around things. If there's something really specific you're looking for, like I don't know if this is going to pull up anything. Um, do and or not or whatever you want and um, you can also select full text if that's what you're looking for if you know a date you can put that in uh, you can also say whether or not this is a government document newspaper magazine primary source transcript things like that let's see if it gives me anything nope and let's just try just a paper then. All right, so I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, if there's something specific I'm looking for, I can do my refining 
Um, so I have full text, so everything that's only full text is showing. I can also change this date. So maybe I'm looking for New York Times articles from a smaller set. That kind of chumps it down a little bit. And we have things in order of relevance right now, but I could change that as well to newest things first. And here I get stuff from yesterday. So here, but also pay attention to whether or not it actually is New York Times. Cause like this one here at the top, one of these is Wisconsin State Journal. That's probably one that might've been reprinted as well. So into the New York Times, but let's see here. Looks like there's some bestsellers for the book reviews. Yeah, so sometimes it doesn't always get what you need right at the top, but I want to do a wish right now. There's also a different way that you could search. So I'm just gonna go back to our homepage and we can just go publications. So here we can search this way. Um, so if I did, and for New York Times, the next page, New York Times. So I have here, 1985 to present. So if I was looking for yesterday's, I can click on yesterday's. And then here are all of the articles from the New York Times from yesterday. So that I think is probably the best way is to search by publications if you're just looking for whatever was in the paper that day. But um, the other way would be more if you're looking for a specific article if you actually had the title for it. So like here's their cover story, it says in parentheses. So you can click on that. And uh, it's supposed to be Is that not full text. Let's try full text. Maybe I didn't get everything. Uncheck full text. Something got messed up. I'm going to go back. I'm clicking on too many things. I can't keep track of what I'm doing. I just want, oh, I see what it's doing. Going to my last search, not the publications. All right, well, that's having an issue, but um, that could be my internet. Let's see. Okay, here we are. So if I did this,
So it's possible that in this, especially New York Times, New York Times can be a little touchy. They may not have everything full text. It'll say what the article is. Um, but we do have other ones that we can get that from. But that's just kind of a general example of how you can use that one. I don't use newspaper source plus all that often. Um, it's just, it's one that we have. Like I said, it's more researchy. Um, if you're going to want full text, I probably wouldn't use that one myself. But the next one is newspapers.com. So I was already in this earlier today, signed in with my library card, so it just went in right away. Um, but again, you would have to put in your library card number as before. Here you can search uh, by someone's name and date. You can do a location and date. You can also, like I said, uh, search by the paper. So if you click on paper, you can type in the paper's name. So if I was looking for Austin Herald, it then can tell me, okay, it has the Austin Daily Herald in here, which is Austin, Minnesota. That's where my parents grew up. And they have 1896 to 1977. Uh, so they don't have anything after 1977. And they probably do have some stuff missing in between there as well. They're not gonna have everything, um, but that's just the general range. So if you wanted to go further into the Austin Herald, you'd click on it. And for each paper here, they show you how many pages they have currently in here. Um, this is kind of some sample pages. And then anytime pe people clip things, um, it, can, it goes up in that recent clipping board. Sometimes that can be helpful if things have already been clipped. You might be able to look through them and see if it's something you're looking for. Um, they do also show a map here of other nearby papers. Sometimes that can be helpful if you're not finding what you need. It could have been actually in another nearby newspaper instead of the one you're looking at. So. The map really helps, I think, with that as well. And then your browse by date. So I'm going to search, and I am the only reason I'm doing this is because I know I know I can find something here. Um, I was trying my grandfather's name before, but Joseph Lewinsky. So I just put in his name. I didn't put in a year or anything else. So what pulls up is actually um, a lot of society uh, paper stuff from the 50s. And it's actually in reference to my grandmother. So Mrs. Joseph Slowinski. Uh, so she was, I think the matron of honor for her sister Odelia. And so Mr. and Mrs. Matt Kreshbach is my grandmother's parents, so my great grandparents. So this is her sister, Queen of Angels. That's where my dad's family went to church in Austin the whole time. So I can go ahead and clip this if I want. So it has I say clip, I can continue where I want to go with it if I want to do it through email. I can do it that way. Um, there's also, let's see here. 
Yeah, this shows the different pages in that same uh, paper for that day. So that was the seventh or the seventh page. So I can kind of look through that entire paper for that day as well. Uh, so that's kind of a nice way to see more information about that issue. And there's also the print and save button. Uh, that's probably the one that you're going to use the most instead of the clip, um, unless you are a part of, uh, like I said, uh, newspapers.com or have an ancestry account. That's where you would clip and save it into somewhere. Um, but I want to save. I'm going to save as a PDF. Oh, wow. So now I have here a PDF image that has the Mess Kreshbach exchange vows. So if I wanted that for my family tree stuff, I would be able to now have, I have it on my computer. I could send it wherever I need to to get it printed, whether it's at home or at the library. And right now too, um, if you didn't know, while our building uh, is closed, to the public and we're still inside every day uh, doing all of our usual tasks. So if you do have things that need to be printed, you can always uh, email it to us and then we can print it out and we have a, a printout um, little basket that we sit outside on our table during curbside and we uh, write your name on it, put it in an envelope to keep it uh, private and we put it out there for you to grab whenever you need to. Uh, and currently we aren't charging for printouts. So uh, that is something that you can have us do as well. So if you find something like this, you can save the PDF of it and then ask us to print it off. So I'm going to go back here. I think we'll probably move on to the next one here since we have about 15 minutes left. Uh, does anybody have any questions about newspapers.com right now? Uh, you can go ahead uh, and put it in the chat or you can always unmute yourself. We're a small group here, so I don't mind that if you wanted to say something. So I'll keep going back here. Um, if you want to see the papers by locations, here's where you can see, like I said, they do have some from other parts of the world as well. That's always interesting to look at. You just kind of keep clicking around the bubbles to get to where you want to go. So here I could get to Archival Wisconsin State Journal. So there's lots of stuff being clipped just recently that people have saved. And those are people that have um, accounts with newspapers.com and Ancestry. I'm trying to think if there's something we can search for. Okay, and I do have another question. So the 60 day embargo, does that mean that newspapers uh, you can reach are not current, but would be 60 days old? Um, this is correct. So I don't know that it, this applies to every paper, um, but they, they do have that 60 day embargo. I think uh, newspapers collectively um, that allowed their uh, articles to be in these databases, they they obviously want to get paid uh, for their their writing. So I think that's something newer that happened probably within the last twenty years um, that they put that on there. So it could be 
folder, yes. I have, let's see here. And do note that this does say that um, at the top here, Wisconsin State Journal only has from the year 1852 to 1922 here on newspapers.com. Um, you can find more of the Wisconsin State Journal um, through other sources. So we can order microfilm through um, our interlibrary system where a lot of that is gonna come from the Historical Society um, or from the UW-Madison campuses or UW campuses, including Madison. Um, and I don't, I think we just have the Middleton um, microfilm at our library, uh, but you can also find a, a small selection actually on, I believe the, not everything, but some on the Wisconsin Historical uh, Society website as well, because they do have some databases for some research for when they're closed. Uh, but if you need something specific that's not included in this time frame, we can try and order it through interlibrary loan. So keep that in mind too. see here. I'm trying to think, what could I search? I'm sure there's going to be a lot of stuff. Oh, the name Leopold. Thinking of the Leopold Nature Center. I'm not from the Madison area, so I'm just trying to pull a name out of my head that I know is all around. But if I was to, this is from 1870, my goodness. Not the same Leopold I was probably thinking of, but um, it's like there's only a few, pa four pages per newspaper for 1870. Um, I love history and I love historical newspapers, so I could probably sit and do this forever. But let's move on to our next one. Let's go back to my databases. And I apologize if you hear a humming in the background. I, my fans have turned on on my computer. Using some databases here that's using up some memory. So after newspapers.com, we scroll down, we then have US News Stream. So this is one that's going to have a lot of the current newspapers. So if I look for, you can search in the search terms, but if you're also looking for certain publications, uh, we can go that way as well. So I can say I only want to see newspapers. I'm again going to see how far I can get with New York Times. It's always the sought after one, I feel like. Got New York Post. So you have New York Times Late Edition, New York Times Book Review, New York Times Espanol, New York Times Magazine. I'll probably do this one. It says full text available. All right, so we have today's. And we also, so we can click into each article. This is the full text of it. Tells you the word count. And also up at the top here, you have a few buttons. So you have a save as PDF button. 
So if you want to download it to your computer or uh, tablet, you can do it that way, or you can email it or print it. Um, they also have this fancy little site button. So if you're using this in any kind of um, academic manner, research paper, um, professional type sense, you can try and use uh, some of their citing tools. Um, I guess it's powered by RefWorks, which is not, not too bad of a, a source there. Um, but I would always say, just make sure to double check any of those citing uh, sources. Uh, sometimes they can mess up. I've had to fix some stuff sometimes that I found that way, um, but that makes citing really easy. All right, I thought I saw a question. Is consumer reports current? Let's see if I can find them on here. I know there's another. I think it should be. We also have the actual subscription online to consumer reports as well. That's one of our databases that we do have with your library card. So that's another way that you can access it. But if you do like just reading the text version of it, I do believe we can get it here. Let's double check. Okay, so it looks like Consumer Reports isn't in US News Stream, but I know you can find it uh, in one of our other ones. I we'll just have to get that in the next one. But I can quickly show you at the end how you can get into Consumer Reports uh, through our subscription that we have with your library card if you'd like to. So this is a good place to get uh, newspapers. Um, it does say there's magazines in here, um, but again, it's probably going to be a select um, titles. Uh, we do have other databases for magazines specifically. Uh, that might be a better way to search for some of those. We can brief over those as well. So let's go back. I want to do Wisconsin State Journal. So this is 95 to present. With here are some of the articles from today. So you can get full text. one by Logan Road. Um, that is another place you can get full text for Wisconsin State Journal um, and also Milwaukee Sentinel and a few others for Wisconsin. All right, I'm going to go back to our database page. Wrap up here with our last one. 
Um, so our last one is the Wisconsin Newspapers Digital. So this is, like I said, just Wisconsin only uh, from 2005 to the present. This is another badge link one. Hopefully this one works. So this is one that you can use, I've used before for obituaries uh, because it is searching all these little ones. It's not going to have everything. So like some of these newspapers is like this one only has 1861 to 1864 in here. Uh, so it's only a few years, um, but some of them do have a select range. Um, so for Madison, like the Isthmus is in here. We also have in business, May Madison, Cap Times, Wisconsin State Journal. And they do have the Milwaukee Courier, Community Journal, The Post, Milwaukee Times. I do believe Sentinel's in there as well. So I was looking for, gosh. specific name, even. Um, if I know it was in Dane County. It's going to search all the papers that were Dane County. And you can also just search for the newspapers and then get if they have current current articles then you can find that as well so this is giving me images as well as i scroll through here so i'm just trying to see let's see here This is December. I'm going to go into some of these pages and see. OK. So you can put dates in there, too, to try and narrow it down. I probably should have done that. So I'm trying to look for like July. Okay, so this is what I was looking for. It was just an obituary uh, that was of last year in July. So I was able to find that through just her name. I didn't even have to put the date um, and just say it was Dane County. Um, obviously, since I knew the date that I was looking for um, around, I was able to kind of go through, but it does help to put the date as well. Probably would have been faster. I wouldn't have had to go 10 pages in, uh, but that's one way that you can use this. And then like I said, you could also just do Oops. one newspaper. So if I say uncheck all and say I only want to do like the Madison Isthmus. So that it does note here that it only goes until the 19th of this month. So it's not going to be the current issue, but it's pretty close. Um, so here is the 
current one here for the or the 19th, the furthest it goes. Not sure how many pages. I wonder, does this only do one at a time? See, each newspaper is different. So it almost looks like the Isthmus only uploads one at a time. So it only has the 19th. Oh, and it's 2020. Well, that's weird. But you kind of get the idea. So you can click around and then you can move your mouse to kind of go around the page. That's the Wisconsin ones. Um, that one, when we're doing um, any obituary finds for people, uh, that is, that one is probably one of the first ones uh, if we know it's local. Um, otherwise, then it would be Ancestry or or the um, newspapers.com. So that is our class for the newspaper portion. I did say I was going to show um, those who asked questions about consumer reports, um, a few other things. Um, so if you wanted to see that, you can continue to stay on for a few minutes and I'll show you. Uh, but thank you so much for coming tonight. Um, it's, it's always great when we can still have patrons um, participate in our programming, even though we're online right now. Um, and we are excited and can't wait to have you all back in the building. When that does happen, we will definitely be announcing that on our website and, and everywhere else. Um, so hopefully we'll get to see you soon.